You've seen it already. I did the demo. So remember, now this is part three, technically, because I'm going to continue from where I left off in the demo. So there's been two streams of this already. And uh, if you are starting fresh here, I mean, I suppose you could do that, but if you want to watch the other two, just search for uh, Vinny Metopia. Um, you don't only get four characters in this game, actually. Here it is. We're going to import. Yes. Yes, we will import. Yes. Mike is also playing. You're the Dark Lord. So I'm Mike's Dark Lord. There's definitely got to be some, like, like subconscious, or maybe it's very, very conscious thing going on there, you know? Hmm. That's okay. I'm going to make Mike my Dark Lord. Mike Love, that is. Mike Love of the Beach Boys. Let's see. Let's see if I can find a Mike Love um, me. That would be great. Though I don't think... Hmm. Mike Myers... Um, I already have Bill Trinan as my Dark Lord, but that doesn't... That just doesn't feel right. Oh, there's a lot of messages. I guess we'll activate spot pass, even though this never leaves my house. Mike Myers Love Guru. Fuck off. So what's that music? Why is it hurt? It sounds like someone's squeegeeing my brain. Uh, right, so here we are. We're back in the game. Um, I actually... I would very much like if someone could make a Mike Love... Amiibo. Or Amiibo. A me, rather. Because <laughs> it doesn't exist. Mike Love isn't important enough for me, I guess, but... Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna just use a fictional character as my, um... As my Dark Lord, because I wouldn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Except Mike Love. Alright, so... Where were we last time? Right, um, well, let's- let's go back here real quick. Alright, Snoop. Snoop and Snoopy. Woo-hoo! I'm the Dark Lord! Give me your face! Uh, what? You loitering or something? Oh, you're looking for the Dark Lord. And you plan to defeat him? I believe you. Not! So I already did pick Bill Trinan as my Dark Lord, but I- that, that can change, you know. The Dark Lord has many faces, and can mutate and morph into various forms. Um, for example... From what I understand, you can change any of your characters. Uh, well, you can't change your main characters, but you can change the supporting cast, so if I wanted to change... ...the Dark Lord from Bill Trinan to Mike Love, it would not be difficult. Um, A lot of these are randomly assigned, but, yeah. Vinny, do you even read the chat? No. Something tells me chat's gonna be real hard to read when I do streams of this game. Serious Soldier Papyrus. God help us all. 
You are approaching Greenhorn Castle. I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh, you have a letter of introduction from the mayor. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh-oh. Loose capture card in my 3DS still. Stream ended. Stream is over. Confirmed. My apologies. Go right ahead. Vinny, when are you streaming Mo Mitomo? Let me just go ahead and, uh, time you out. <laughs> I want some new clothes. So, uh, if you missed this, we have, uh, Two-Faced as Scoot, Sponge as our cleric, Gordon as the cook. I've never seen it up close before. I wonder if there's a princess living there. Nah, princesses are always in another castle. Oh, you cheeky fuck. I need a nap. I need some cold water. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you didn't really see me stream this before, uh, I streamed the demo, like I said, so there's two parts of this already on my Full Sauce channel, but it's kind of like Baby Darkest Dungeon with a lot more character interaction, um, more humor, and less torture and death and pain. Is Two-Faced in a bad mood? Yes. Oh. So... Babies. Basically Splatoon music. Low light level- low light level labyrinth. Dim Lights Labyrinth. Um... Su <laughs> Sunshine Outdoor Dungeon. What, what would it- wait, 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 wait. We need... a name for an outdoor dungeon. I mean, I guess I could just use Brightest Labyrinth. Lightless... Yeah, something like that. Lightest Labyrinth. Perfect! That is good. I like that one. You can actually just do auto battle for all of this. If I really... If I really wanted to just skip through this, I could just hold... The, um... The fast forward button. This game is more about the situations. It has very light RPG elements. You don't get to control any of the other characters other than your main character, which in this case is... ...obviously... ...Vine Sauce. Vin sorry, Vinny Sauce. Why is Sponge happy? Sometimes Sponge is happy. It's not... Trust me, it's not for long. My hood up here! Which version of Mike Love would you prefer? Um, I don't know. Early Mike Love or late Mike Love, I guess. Either. Either's fine. Banana fritter. What? Please are showing you an effective rate to be on a Gonna get real intimate with the microphone when you do a Gordon Ramsay impression. But if you do make a mic love me, um, I want you to tweet it to me at Vinny Vine Sauce. Someone made one. Uh, I'll take a look and see how how decent it is. If you don't know who Mike Love is, just Google Mike Love sucks, and you'll get as a wealth of information. Oh, 
Oh, sponge healed Venusauce. That's perfect. See, sponge is, is good. Cumulus. Oh no, it's the Cumulus again. I also posted um, a video on my Twitter about Brian Wilson. It's only like 12 minutes and it's worth- it's really worth watching. Showing off for Gordon Ramsay? I would do that, wouldn't I? I would make some banana fritters in a fucking frying pan. And I'd be like, do I have your approval, Master? He'd be like, no! True love. How did Sponge come to existence? Uh, it's a bit of a story, but, um... It was just me making up that we needed a new Mario brother. I was playing, um, Super Mario 3D World, and I was like, you know, we've been stuck with the old brothers for a long time. Why don't we get a new one? Like an orange brother, you know? Maybe his name is Sponge. I don't know, I was just making up stupid shit. If you want a more detailed explanation, Google, did you know Vine Sauce? Sponge. There's a whole video. It's a really insanely stupid, ridiculous character creation that was not expected to have any legs whatsoever. Well, I mean, he was expected to walk on his mustache, but that got changed a little bit. Um, but with Sponge, the, I guess everyone liked him, and there was a lot of fan art of, of Sponge, <laughs> for some reason. And then, um, yeah, then Tamadachi Life gave him a character. By the way, Pretzel, I don't remember. I have no idea where Pretzel came from, and I probably have been through this multiple times, but I just, I don't remember. So. L is real. We're gonna find out how real L is. L is real in Mario 64 DS up next. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed me, Topia. I know you've been waiting for this for a while, but uh, I'm finished. Could you imagine if I did that? There would be riots in the street of Orlando. In the one street of Orlando. So what have we got here? Sharp stew. We have any Tums? I was thinking of like an overdose on Tums. Can't believe Rich Evans is dead. Died of a Tums festival. <laughs> Poor guy. Sponge hates everything. So this is how you feed your Mies, and you can level them up a little bit as you do that. There's an arcade, you can check in on the party, you can see their relationship with each other, you can keep them separated. I could buy a new weapon for Sponge, he's got like a giant Q-tip right now. Or I could buy Gordon Ramsay a fucking banana. How about I save my money? And we go to the arcade instead. Um, I could win some gold. Five hundred G. Rock, paper, scissors says... Fuck. At least roulette is guaranteed prizes. Let's do this one. 
a morsel of XP, polka dot armor, uh, fancy jolly jaunt tickets, or MP candy. I kind of want the... armor. Let's go one more time. Polka dot armor. Polka dot ar no, 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 no. Fucking clown music. Cursed by clown music. I guess they're all gonna stay for now. When we get more characters. That'll be a more difficult decision. But wait a minute. What's this? This treasure. So, oh, I may or may not have a uh, <clears throat> cloud amiibo. <clears throat> Excuse me. At this present moment. A little embarrassed about that. Cumulus Cloud Amiibo, that's correct. Yeah, it's directly from this game. They had three of them. At the GameStop I was at. I... I don't want any more Amiibos. But I, you know, Cloud... In a Nintendo game? Uh, you know, in an official capacity? It's a pretty decent figure, I guess. Looks nice. It's Cloud. That's it. Unless they release Squall, I'm not getting any more Amiibo. I swear to God. and it's not $300. Yeah, it was 12 bucks or 13 bucks, whatever. I haven't bought an Amiibo in a while, though, so that's that's good. Actually, what was the last one I bought? Maybe you guys know better than I, I do. Um, I didn't buy any new Splatoon ones. Oh, I have a Breath of the Wild Amiibo. But... Just one. I didn't get the whole series. I'm not like a... Cr I have too many. But I also don't feel like I need more of them. Like, I was gonna get that Majora's Mask amiibo, but I don't, I don't really want it anymore. I decided against it. Animal Crossing cards? Actually, here's what happened with those. People sent me a bunch of Animal Crossing cards, and I ended up getting them specifically for the stream of Animal Crossing. But, there is a Toys R Us that went out of business. And I went and they were selling the Animal Crossing card packs for two bucks. So I bought like four of them. What about the Metroid Amiibos? Shh, shh. Don't tell me about those. I don't want to know they exist. I don't want a limited edition spongy Metroid Amiibo that is as spongy as Gene Simmons' cock. I don't need that. I actually forgot that I assigned speech patterns to some of these things. Uh oh, Sponge is dead. Sprinkle this mysterious powder to revive a me. Oh ho, you've run out of HP completely. Without HP, I'm done for. I'm kind of a continual fight. But, 
He was in the life sprinkles. You can revive your me. Your life sprinkles are extremely precious. Don't waste them. Sprinkle wisely. Oh, oh, oh. I only have one life sprinkles. Flambe. I remembered the voice, yeah, I remembered the voice, but it's basically just Canadians from South Park, yeah, so it's not an original voice by any means. No, no, it's not original. The only original voice I do is, um, Yeah, mate, yeah, we got a big fucking uh, game here with, like, life sprinkles. Do you still play Darkest Dungeon? Um, as of about a week ago, I, I plan on playing more of it, but yeah, there's still new... There's new episodes of it on my full sauce channel, so to speak. Oh, you can just run away. But what happens when you run away? Oh. Oh, I guess... I guess that worked out. I just wanted to get this treasure chest. Wicker vestments. Oh man, if only I had a Nicolas Cage. So if I were to say, give him some sauce, Scoot! How would, um, the current team Scoot give sauce? Those jellies. Touched by Vine Sauce's praise. Super Mario 63 DS will be... ...next week. Yeah, Super Mario 65. I, I, I'm still waiting for that one to come out. I had, uh... As you know, I had a classmate. Uh, as you know, I had a classmate that was really excited for Super Mario 65. He didn't understand the bits. He didn't understand why it was called Mario 64 and Nintendo 64. He did eat glue. You did that wasn't- that was not japes. I know it's a bit of a cliché, because you heard me say it in some of my videos, or one of my- I forget which video was that. That was Super Mario 64 Corruptions, right? The first one? It was absolutely true. That was also, um, some of you re may remember me talking about a crusty... ...classmate. I- I understood bits because I read Nintendo Power. So when Mario 64 came out, I was like 11. Um, so I understood that it wasn't the 64th Nintendo or 64th Mario. I understood that because Super Nintendo was 16 bits. Those are the big words. Those were like the keywords, you know, like 16 bits. And then Sony came along, it was like, our PlayStation is 32 bits. And everyone got well, like, whoa! And then Sega Saturn was like, we have Sonic. And then, um, Nintendo 64 was like, oh, Ultra 64 was the original name of it, and they were like, listen, if you think PlayStation's cool, we got a 64 in our fucking title. So, I knew that it was bits because I, I read up on it a little bit, but... Yeah. So I never, like, counted the, the Mario games in order. Like, okay, we have Mario 1, then there was Mario 2, then there was Mario Teaches Typing, then there was Mario Kart, then there was... whatever. Sponge is such a picky eater, holy shit. Um, polka dot, oh, oh wow, yeah, look like a right twat if I get that one. 
Does increase defense, though. Maybe I'll just buy an HP banana. Gordon wants it so bad. Have it. Um, Vinny, is there a reason people can't give bits to you? During streams? Well, the thing is, I think a lot of people... ...like bits, but it would get a little crazy on my stream. Um, and no, I don't have anything personal against people that use face cam. I don't have anything negative to say about people that, um, do donations. Or, um... You know, have the, the stream notifications or bits. I think that's fine if you want to do it. I think it's real easy as, as a person to be very, like, diametrically opposed. Like, I don't like this thing. Here's why I don't like it. And you're gonna have to deal with that. And that's... I don't know. There's a lot of people that do like those things. I just know it's not for me. And I, I also... I'm so lazy that if I have to start calling people out and thanking them mid-stream while I'm playing a video game, this wouldn't be as fun for me. Subbing is- it helps me, thank you. Whoever subs it, it helps. You don't have to do anything more than that. And also save your money for the charity stream. When we, um... When we do charity stream, it's most useful if you, um save your money for then, and then buy, like, a shirt, or, you know, whatever. It'll all go to charity. That's good. Speaking of, for anyone who's new to the stream, thank you again for making the charity stream such a big success. We're all still reeling. That's a huge number. $137,000 for charity is, is amazing. You guys really made this a special year for all of us, and we're just- we're happy that we're- every year we're doing a little bit more, and it's getting a little bit better, and all the help we had from the mods and streamers, it was great. That said, I know there's a lot of new viewers from the charity stream. Um, it's fucking raw! And there's been, like, a lot of new viewers anyway, so I wanna just- a piece of etiquette, if you don't mind me saying so. Because there are people that don't know this, and that's fine. That's okay. How would you know this? But, like, if you go to another Vinesaw streamer's chat and be like, Hey, where's Vinny? Hey, where's, uh... Where's Darren? Where's Joel? How come Vinny's not streaming Metopia? While another streamer on the Vinesaw team is streaming? That's not so great. So, I'll ask you, just, I guess, as a, a person. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that. If that's okay. It seems like kind of just common etiquette, but... So if you didn't know that, there you go. Tact. Yeah, just use a little, little bit of tact. Because it's been happening a little bit lately to a couple streamers, and it's like, ugh, really? But, uh, it's okay. We understand. It's just because there's a lot of new viewers. And I do appreciate you asking about me, but you could just tweet at me. And I also do know I'm in a, um... I'm aware that I'm... <laughs> that I'm in a Pyrocynical video. So, if, if, uh, if you know about that... I apologize. I apologize that you had to watch me. It's true. Um, yeah, it's true, I am. It's- it's just a video about Shrek. And he used footage of my Shrep. Vinny, can we get your phone number so we can contact you directly? Yeah, 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 you can call me and I'll- I'll let you know when the next stream is. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, um, someone in chat said, Vinny, did you see the new binging with Babish? They, he did Breath of the Wild food. He did, and I'm really curious about what the fuck a durian smells and tastes like, but I think I'm too afraid to try bringing one of those fucking things into my home. Snap out of it. It's a good uh, Arctic Mungle song.
the fuck is this? Such a mild flavor bouquet, with a subtle balance of sweetness. And the aftertaste is heavenly. Like a gust of fresh wind rushing from the hills. Pardon? Why, I'm the roving gourmet Pringles! Wow. The hottest hot air cuisine moves me to ecstasies of emotion. I don't know, haughtiest? How do you say that? Doesn't matter. Never had to read that out loud before. I must share this bliss with you. V rare cheesecakes. Bon appetit! Hot. Any chance of a s uh, well, I, hmm. I think chat's a little insane right now. I'm gonna hit up the slow mode a little bit more, if that's okay. We're gonna go from, like, two seconds to ten seconds. Should be good. Maybe we'll go down to two, uh, five, if needed. Just to make it a little bit easier. For everyone to read what's going on. Um... Avenge. So me and Sponge can avenge each other. When a friend falls, flare up in anger with a vengeful strike. This game really is just about friendship. Sponge. What do you dream about? Two-Faced bought a present. Totally got you a present. Take it, take it. Hand it over! What the fuck? A liar? What, what are you gonna do with that, Gordon? Maybe sort of likes. that's better than straight up disdain. The same kind of disdain that you may see on a show such as Kitchen Nightmares. Oh god, you fucking suck. How long have you been a chef for? Oh dear god, please, the flambe tastes like asshole. God damn it. So there's a store in the mall called, um, Aerosole. A E R O S O L E, I believe. Or add an S to the end of that. And if you say it really quickly, it sounds like Cassidy from Preacher or, an, you know, an Irish fella saying arseholes. Not arrow pastel. No, just a different arrow. Arseholes. Yeah. Also, I have a morbid thought, and this is something I was I was unfortunately musing upon the other day. But you know, like when you have memories, best friends, say a pet. Given a long enough time span, they just become security questions. I was like, you know, setting up an account. What is the name of your best friend? And I always use the one growing up. And I was like, oh. Oh. Wow. He just morphed into a fucking security question. I haven't seen him in years. Um, yeah, it's really, really interesting. And also, I ended up not using the best friend. It just got too weird. <laughs> Yo, I'm a floating brain. Sorry. Polka dot. Yeah, we're we're really we're going balls deep into this polka dot stuff. 
Here you go, Two-Face. Don't hurt anybody. Uh, no one trusts Two-Face with a dagger, so we give her a little wooden one. Well, the concept of a best friend kind of... I have a lot of different friends for different, you know, different memes, different streams, but... I think the best friend thing is, is kind of... Like there, there's a lot of pressure in that. And Sponge gets a fucking lollipop. Because, you know, at this point, I could say I've had multiple best friends growing up. And, you know, I have people that I, I enjoy spending a lot of time with, but I, I try not to say best friend. That's, uh... I'm also, I'm also a little older. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell anyone. But yeah, most of my best friends are now just security questions on the internet. You thought I was a squid kid? Oh. How would you classify Mike? Very good friend. Though, upon me learning that I'm his Dark Lord... Hmm. Hmm. Pst. Hmm. Stolf. Hmm. Stolf. He switched it to Gamby. Oh, okay. Plus 10 points to Mike. That's okay, because I was gonna make my Dark Lord Mike Love from the start. By the way, Mike, for those that don't know, he's also- I think he's also- well, obviously, he's streaming Metopia as well. If you want to check his channel out, it's M6000W. Best friend rating system, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's different ways to classify friendship, right? Like if um, a friend is there for you when you, when you need help, or like when you, um, when you want to hang out and like go, go do something cool, and your friend is like, you know, down to do something, that's plus points. If they make you like a villain in their mind, or in a video game, specifically in the video game, that's like minus ten. As you know, the fish eye is worth about ten points. Um, you know, if- if a friend steals money from you... I'd say that's like minus 12. I don't recommend you c continue with that friendship. M6000W sounds like an HP printer. Do you want to take the HP printer challenge? Vinny, do you talk about your feelings with your friends? <laughs> Only if they're doing something to piss me off. Otherwise, you don't need to. Right? Because, you know, the point is when you're having good times, like Anthony Kiedis said in that one Chili Pepper song, where he's like, when I have some good times, I'll share, I'll share them with you, motherfucker. And then he flipped his cock around in a sock. So what are feelings, by the way? What are those? Do you think Mike Love gave a fuck about Brian Wilson's feelings? No. <laughs> no. Vinny, is chat always this crazy? No. No, this is especially crazy because this is... People tend to know me from my t Tomodachi streams and this has become a bit of a sequel to that. Um, there are nights when I'm streaming something a little bit more low-key, and the chat is more readable, but it just acquiesced to the fact that tonight it's gonna be a hot garbage. So. <laughs> but I have a good- I have a good docket tonight, like, there's some good stuff on the menu. 
You know, I'm cooking up this, and then I'm cooking up a little Mario 64. Get them sprinkles up. Ho ho! People scratch at you. There's awakened new power within you. Truly, you're a beacon of hope, I'll tell you. All right, you may continue smiting monsters. Oh, and you'll uh, get your next perk once you reach 150 people. Hop to it. It's a good sense of progression in this game. I want to go to Vinisos's room. Why? Oh, okay, well, they, um... We'll, we'll be together for a while. <laughs> Who do you like? What? I'm not telling. What? Tell me. These are grown-ass adults. Okay, I understand. Whew. Gordon Ramsay's what, in his 50s? Come on, who do you like best? Who's your bestie? Come on. Tell me. you want to take a selfie with me? Come on, you bastard. Banshee tears. Well, Sponge could use the magic. Sponge is... Ah, oh, Sponge, please! Sponge officially doesn't like a single thing on the menu. to some small extent, at least. Okay, so Gordon, well, people want new outfits. These polka dots look like ass. But, I mean, I don't have enough money for that anyway, so... I mean, sod it. Junkie Joe Joyce, this is a letter to you, Junkie Joe Joyce. So here's the castle. Oh, who's gonna be the king? Greenhorn's king, much loved, gentle giant with a large appetite. Then there's the princess, fairest in the land. The king's only daughter harbors a secret love. A prince of next door, get it? And the princess's fiance, arrogant but loves his mama. Besmirched noble son. Grew up with the princess, but now rarely gets the chance to see her. This is gonna assign them randomly. Jerry Garcia, Maya Fay, Bowser, and Cars. SpongeBob, <laughs> Lois, Long Q from fucking Fire Emblem, and Uncle Grandpa. Okay, Spongebob is fucking perfect, so we're gonna stick with Spongebob. I'm considering Lois being okay. That's- that's a wonderful choice. <laughs> that's really good! Let's see what we have here. Oh, here we go. Got some good ones. I like how Me Central is just an amalgamation of all the shitty Mii's that people are using. Um... Makes my life easier. There's a Bill Murray in there. Lady on. Oh, look. Markiplier's in there. Mr. Wiseau. Um, Johnny Depp. I, I think we're gonna save Tommy for, for another time. Squidward could be fun. But, uh, oh, Waluigi we already had, right? Mr. Bean. That would make for a fun one. That's a good face. Mr. Burns. 
Star Fox, Ascor, Nick Cage, the return of Cage. I think Wiseau we should cast in a larger role. So I'm not looking to cast someone that I want to be more used later on. That's a surprisingly good alien. Get Mr. Bean because that face is fucking beautiful. Okay. And then the other love interest. We're gonna go back to um me central. Okay. It's a whole new group of people. Or shuffled at least. I'm not gonna, you know, my choices aren't gonna make everyone happy. Carl? Wait, 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 the brothers are back! <laughs> We're gonna get hooked on the brothers! So, maybe we'll stick with Lois. But who else is available for this? I have an idea. <laughs> that face. King Spongebob. King Spongebob is here. The whole family is here. Perfect. You again? This is King Spongebob's castle. Mind your manners. Who's the other guard? Freddie Mercury. <laughs> The king has a lot of time to sit around and eat. It goes to show what a peaceful country we are. Welcome, traveler! Oh shit, Morgan Freeman. Holy fuck. Christ! I am the great mighty Pooh. What business have you here? The Dark Lord attacked the town of Greenhorn? And this miscreant stole the people's faces, you say? <laughs> we don't believe it! Of all the tall tales! I don't do a Spongebob impression. Well, it's a lot of work supporting the king. You've got to be really committed. You've got to take it super seriously. Geordie LaForge. I have but one job. I support the king. It's a heavy task. Wait. 
Well, I didn't think much of SpongeBob when I first saw him come to Shum Sh to Shawshank, to Shumshank. But I watched him crawl through three miles of shit and piss. So soft, so squishy, sweet but not too sweet. You can eat them all every day. Scum spank reabsorption? Sure. Showing off for sponge? You best not! That fucking mole face. That's a, the, the, this mole is the shit poster of the kingdom. Make no mistake. I don't like the way the king rules. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the king every time he goes up there and does a speech, but I don't like him. I don't like the way he rules. He doesn't cater to my specific needs. I'm a mole, and he hasn't made any underground highways for me and my family. Mole has the same voice as SpongeBob. Doesn't look like I can do very many voices <laughs> to that extent. The king should have been Robert Baratheon. Gods, I was powerful then. I could crush a man's skull with me cock and the blood and guts. What I don't get is why did Robert Baratheon have a northern accent like Ned Stark? But the Stormlands are further south than King's Landing. Obviously, everyone here knows exactly what I'm talking about. I think Gordon Ramsay just made some snossages for the team. He grew up in the Vale? Oh yeah, he did grow up in the Vale. Also, he's not real. Yeah. There's that. Thank God, the battle system has a speed function. Not being able to control every character means that you lose a lot of the, um, the strategy. I mean, there are things that you get to do, like the sprinkles, but it's... it's not so much about... the decisions, the individual decisions, it's not like a Final Fantasy game. It's a little bit more, it's a little lighter than that. Blood and guts! When you have your party members hang out, they eventually become a little bit more, um, effective in battle. So it's good to have as many of them hang out as possible. They're gonna train. I was hoping for like Zack Fair style squats. Their bond is as strong as their muscles. <laughs> Scoot, would, Scoot would really like this.
I feel a little uncomfortable watching them work out privately like that. Especially considering they don't know that I'm watching. Or do they? Of course Sponge fucking loved it. Sponge likes the things that don't give magic. He's allergic to whimsy. <laughs> Money's a bit tight. I'm surprised Gordon Ramsay's been liking as many meals. Oh god, it's fucking frozen! God, it was raw! I want to see Gordon Ramsay go up to, um, Two-Faced and Sponge's room with, like, goggles and a fucking black light. Be like, oh god, what's this? What the fuck is this stain? Oh no, it's like a mosaic of semen. What have you done? Clean your fucking sheets! Ramsey, Seaman Hunter, Seaman Demon. I mean, no, he's- he's looking for it. I mean, if you'd have- uh, God, if you never saw the hotel thing that he does, there's a hotel show where he- he, um, makes sure the hotel doesn't suck, and, like, tries to turn it around. But, in some cases, he puts on goggles, and, um, you know, he starts looking for stains that are, uh, that show up in a black light. A little weird. Might even go for two lungfuls. Thanks, trees, for all this clean air. Yes, thank you, trees. Well, without those lovely trees, you wouldn't have any wood. And everyone knows that wood is the best food. If Link can eat it, Gordon Ramsay can eat it too. I did make a video of that. It's called Mosaic of Semen. Uh, of Gordon Ramsay looking for, um, semen with goggles. So, for extended research, extended, uh, documentation, you can just Google that. And be real careful. Be- you know what? Be real careful. You might want to type Vine Sauce Mosaic of Semen, because if you just type Mosaic of Semen, you might get some results you don't like. You might get a cum box. I don't know. I don't know! I'm just trying to save you from- yourself. So just be careful. <laughs> Vinny, do you know where I can talk to sailors? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do! At the pier, of course. That was a lot of magic I just wasted there. I thought it defaulted to just regular attacks, but... Oh well. P 
pink ribbon sword. Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm styling now. Vibro sword. Vinny, would you call this game Darkest Dungeon for Children? Well, we, we joked about calling it Lightest Labyrinth, but it's not really very... It's like... It's not very Darkest Dungeon. It looks like Darkest Dungeon a little bit. But it's also Baby's First Final Fantasy. Kind of. It's more about the, the jokes and the interaction and all the little armor and presents and all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's a me game. It's a very well fleshed out me game, but I don't think it's meant to be anything other than what it is. And it's not pretending to be anything other than what it is, which is good. It's not like, um, you know, a movie, you watch it and then they're, they're in a tub full of piss. God. Nothing like that. Did Gordon Ramsay just propose to me? Fuck me. No, really. No, please. <laughs> Polka dot uniform. Generous helping of XP. Yeah? Yeah, I want that polka dot, son. Ah, uh, generous helping is fine, too. Who gets it? I'm gonna be boring. Since my character is the only one I control. Stuff. Sunday. Mm. Butterfly, honey. You really don't like that, Sponge. God damn. The mage of the team. And the mage does not eat anything that would... Or, or does not like anything that gives more MP. Infuriating. Okay, Two-Face didn't like that one. Your fucking vegetables, Sponge. 4.30. Well, I have 5.70, so I could... Potentially... Alright, who needs it? So 28 to 33. 26 to 29. Um, I think... Two-Face could use it. to just force feed my characters and then buy them and then dress them. This is just being a parent. This is virtual parent simulator. You 
collected five different types of gear, the preferred clothing of the thief. Okay, I got an Achievo. But, hang on, if I'm getting Chivos, it would be nice if there was some kind of, like, real-world... ...you know, functionality there. Like, maybe... I don't know, like, a... a cruise? When it when a... when a blowjob on a cruise? For getting all the achievements in the game? Or, or maybe just in-game gold. Or something in between those two things. Gordon... a uh, vine sauce likes Gordon, too. Are we... what the fuck is this? Are you two alright? Peachy. Wait, are me and Two-Faced fighting over Gordon Ramsay? How about this? Instead of the things- how about- instead of in-game gold, real-world gold. Reggie goes to your house as- What is this? Reggie goes to your house and punches you in the stomach? That sounds like a good Chibo. Hi, I'm Reggie. <laughs> Congratulations, you completed Mitomo, or whatever this is called. This is Mitopia. Hi, I'm Reggie. Reggie Fia me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Fisa me. And I can grant you one wish. One single wish. You can bring back any Nintendo franchise. Whichever one you like, and Nintendo will put their full focus on that game for the Nintendo Switch system. So, what's your wish? You could have anything. Um... Yeah, can you, um, uh, bring back, uh... Clue Clue Land, please? <laughs> Clue Clue Land. Make it so. Or perhaps Burger Time. What would you like, Clue Clue Land or Burger Time? That was an amazing scene. Somehow that increased their friendship, whatever that was. It's not safe for everyone to go to sleep. Someone will have to stay on the lookout. You got new clothes, Two-Face, and you can see in two directions at once. So you- you stay guard. Keep an eye out. For wildlings. White walkers. Hey, those trees look like a pair of testicles. Hey, you're up. Way to keep watch. Zero. Good. I'm not happy. Killing machines. Team is working very well together now. Crit. I have zero- my- wait, my character has zero relationship with Two-Face? Really? All this time I've been beating around the bush, and not in it. Fuck, well, I- I mean, next time- yep, no, we gotta- we gotta fix that. We have to have some level of relationship, no? And this is why Nintendo doesn't like me streaming their games.
Bunch hates all of this. Actually, Gordon Ramsay's the only one that likes this. He's, he's got a superior palate. Everyone eats except Sponge. You know what? No, fuck you. Sponge, you're eating this. Oh, an actual nice-looking sword. And it's way too expensive. You know, I want to buy this for Two-Faced because... Um, Two-Face has... Two-Face is the only character that can attack all of the units at once. So... Little AoE. Yeah, that's- that's actually a weapon and not a lollipop. What do you know? Ah, uh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay probably could use... ...a new outfit, but no. She will stab all the enemies and her allies' hearts. She hates your me and you just bought a murder weapon for her. Good job. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I wanna get... I wanna get this treasure chest. I could see a lot of grinding in this game, just to make sure you get all of the things. Sponge and Venusauce make a good team. They attack together, and what- how does the meme go? Isn't there a second part to that? Also, the expression crocodile tears, where did that come from? I, I need to know the etymology of crocodile tears, and how come it didn't become alligator tears? And, do crocodiles cry? It's the same as dogs looking up. Is, is it just an urban legend? Is it just pre-internet nonsense? They don't cry, that's the point. Ow. Eighteenth century. Said to be so named from a belief that crocodiles wept after while devouring or luring their prey. Interesting. Well, either of those things kind of makes sense, but... I'm just gonna go with mine, which is that crocodiles are very sad, but they lie. They lie because- and they're sad because they get confused with alligators, but they- you know, their crying is a little bit overstated. They're not really that upset. Wow. That thing just got fucking bitched. That is the Final Fantasy encounter chime. Which is kind of weird. But I love it. I'm wondering if Final Fantasy himself gave Nintendo permission to use this.
Then that treasure chest opens later. Oh, okay. Good to know. Well, now we know each other. Feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. For my next trick, I'm going to do my impression of Sponge. This is gonna be weird, isn't it? I'm not happy. Turns out I like impressions. Sponge knows! Sponge knows they're making fun of him. Did someone say my name? <laughs> fucking Sponge is gonna go on a fucking rampage now. He's gonna steal Two-Faced Knife. He's also pissed that I'm spending time with, with Two-Faced. Fuck it, we'll just click the random button. Fine, good enough. Only one person was really truly happy with their meal. But I don't care. I don't care. How did Sponge get up there? Donut frying pan. Gordon. You and your novelty items. Vinny, why isn't there a 10 and $25 sub? There are, I just don't have any special rewards for them to discourage people from subbing for that much. I tell people not to do it. That frying pan does not look like it would cook well. How does the fire, like how does the heat get distributed? Oh fuck, this thing sucks. Oh, it's fucking terrible. Okay then. Is Sponge in a bad mood? A truer phrase has never been uttered. Smile Shroom? Some nice shrooms. This game has nice animations, I've said it before, but they're... I mean, you know... The characters are funny looking, appropriately, but the animations are really good. <laughs> well, I get to use a little bit of my titty sprinkles here now. All of my titty sprinkles. I'll feel that in the- I'll feel that in, mo in the morning. Fuck. Faced in a bad mood. Nope, sponges. Ah, help the royal face! Oh, no shit. Boss time. Oh my god! Sponge Rock. Oh, dear God.
I don't know how much HP it has, so... Uh... Jump slashes it is. Oh, there it is. It's still got 80% of its health. Oh, but after that... That was a triple. Love can truly bloom on the battlefield. I guess we finally like each other. Sacrifice. Take damage in place of a friend. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 I didn't agree to that. Wait, I don't want to take damage instead of sponge. What? No. Out of sprinkles for HP. So let, let, let's hope Sponge does some curing. Uh, oh, Gordon's gonna cook. Sponge finally likes some food, and it was Gordon Ramsay cooking dog food. Slowly becoming friends. Call out to a friend, give him a chance to dodge. Vinny Two Face just swallowed that whole banana. I don't want to know about that. It's fucking roll! I like that that was the final, like, cry of the battle. Are, are we alive? Spicy dish feeds spicy food to a friend, making them breathe fire on the enemy. The anti tums spicy food. It seemed obvious. Golem steak. <laughs> Come on. Come on, that's rocks. That's just steaks on a slab of rocks. When- when I saw Tums Festival in the chat, I clapped. <laughs> clapped. Oh, there's something happening here. What- what is going on? Gordon is so fucking generous. Went shopping. Got you something. It's like very unlike what I think Gordon Ramsay would be like. I didn't even know you played the trumpet. Now I'm getting jealous, fuck. Uh-oh. Venusauce liked Sponge and saw it all. <sighs> Venusauce is jealous of Gordon. I don't like that. That ship get that extra attack. Okay. Gordon just explodes. 
when you give that to him. I like how the who really died that day is just getting bastardized. Like, what really happened that night? What event happened that day? It's just gonna get weirder and weirder and weirder. But who really did that thing? That's okay, Desert. I don't mind. What took place upon that eve? Which meme really died that night? Are you posing? Okay. What would you do if SpongeBob had a heart attack? Like, we rescue SpongeBob's face, it goes back to his body, and it's just instant heart attack. What would you do? I'm asking you. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Accept our royal gratitude! Spongebob doesn't have a heart. Oh, shit. Now we must replenish ourselves. Think about how much food you can carve off of Spongebob. That's food enough to last for a year. You know that Dark Lord Bill is certainly no joke. We're all in a lot of trouble with that scoundrel around. Go and warn the princess while we take care of this. Mom, 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 mom. Here we go. Oh, a beauty. To last through the generations. S songs will be sung of this princess. Tales will be written. Bards for thousands of generations to come will sing of the beauty that is Lamb Chop. And who might you be? The Dark Lord went to Greenhorn. What for? Is Carl okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm worried about my friend in town. Would you check on Carl for me? Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please tell him that Lamb Chop is worried about him. Okay, before anything, I have like a thousand Mike Loves, so I think it's time to replace. I mean, the Dark Lord, like I said, maybe the Dark Lord is able to shapeshift. Maybe there are many faces of the Dark Lord. He can take many forms. So, Bill Trinan is a good Dark Lord, but is also, like, the default one, kind of. So, there's a couple of, um, Mike Loves that people made. I think I'm gonna go for the younger Mike Love. There's, there's one face in particular that's just very punchable, so I'm gonna go for the punchable face. If you'll just, um, hold up. One second here.
There you go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's just something about that particular face. That one was made by, um... Starfy. I just- I don't know why I like that one, but I kinda do. And, uh, if you wanna know what Mike Love actually looks like... Again, he's one of the singers of the Beach Boys, and he kind of is like a- He's like a cartoon villain... ...of this band. And- and ran it to the ground, more or less. Or at least contributed very muchly to- to doing so. Poor Brian Wilson. Again, check out that video I posted on my Twitter about Brian Wilson, and you'll- you'll understand a little bit better. Or just type, Mike Love sucks. In, um... In Google, and you'll understand. He, uh, he'll probably sue me for this. I will give credit where credit's due, though. Mike Love has... Well, he wrote Kokomo. Uh, what else? Sometimes he sounds good on a couple of songs. Please do not sue. Oh, adventurer. Bobby Hill's gone missing. I can't find him anywhere. Would you help me look for him, please? Yes. Oh, thank you ever so much. Actually, I asked someone else to. Maybe this is a bit rude, but I don't think they're up to it. So it's a relief that you're here. My child shouldn't have gone far. Could you search the near town for me? Or near town. That's where we wanna go. To get away from it all. Gold Smurp? The fuck are you? I'm probably gonna get a lot of gold for this, aren't I? Kill quickly. Yeah, all of us. Yes! I hit a plop! What a breeze. 500 gold. Oh god. That was a loud Mahina Pia, too. Uh, here goes. Uh, Bobby Hill, where are you? No, stay away! That voice. Somebody help me! I got to do something. You get away from him. Right? <laughs> of course, Carl is totally ineffective. Is there uh, nothing I can do? Please save the boy. Yeah, his neck is broken. That, that there's no coming back from that one. Carl, you're a baldy, roundy, heady twat. Anyway, I had to knob those boglins. Because Carl couldn't. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. My name is Cole. So your uh, Princess Lamb Chop is worried about you. The princess is worried about me. Uh, bit weird. Focus. What in the world were those monsters, eh? I turned me back and all this happened. Just want a packet of munchies. And the way you uh, handled those uh, monsters, that was incredible. I was as useful as a chocolate teapot. I think I'll be leaving now. 
I don't have the best Carl impression, but it's whatever. Just gotta wank the mank, you know? Wonk the monk. What a sleepy day. Ah, an adventurer. Welcome to Greenhorn. The place was being tormented by the Dark Lord, but now it's quiet and a bit boring. Well, suppose I better put my feet up. That means he's gonna smoke weeds. Of course. Injecting illegal weed needles directly into his forearm. God damn it, Bobby Hill. No reward? Dude, sick reference to Snoop Dogg smoking weed. I can't believe you were so clever. You were clever enough to bring up Sm Snoop smoking weed on your stream because you knew that Snoop Dogg smoke weed and Smoke Dog he is sn Snoop, and you knew that if you brought up the Smook Dog smoking the weed, that you people would know that and they would clap. So. Myself. That's a relief. I don't know why she's Smeagol. Please accept this reward. No, no, child. You must forget about that Carl chap. You are betrothed to Prince Gross after all. Is that clear? But, father. Oh, I'm sorry. Please leave me be. You knew that if I brought this about smoke dog, swoop, that I would- that you would know. And the reference in the- but the read no smoke dogs and you got smoke- snoop- snoop! And you would clap. The princess- oh, I'm sorry. The princess's fiance should be on his way! Uh, since you're here, will you please see him to the castle? Much obliged! The princess's fiancé from yonder kingdom! He should be waiting at the arid frontier! Could you head for the frontier? This is a case of, you know, betrothal and love and duty and honor. And how does one love, truly love? when one has to love another that isn't l the, the one they love. Okay then. This is almost Gerudo Valley. Dear pesky... You know Princess Lambchop's friend, right? Yeah, he seems kind of unreliable, huh? Well, he's probably a good person, right? Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, let's go find Prince Gruus. Vinny, what are you on? I did make the mistake of having a cup of coffee before I started streaming tonight. Hey! Nose rock. Oh yeah, new skill, spicy dish. Look at that spice. My character just showed off for Two-Faced. All is right in the world. Pan, nice and hot. Yeah? And then, like, he knocks on the bottom of it. He's like, you know... He goes like this. He's like, all the heat in the pan is here. Like, he knocks on the... He, he, like, even though the pan was just on the fire, Gordon Ramsay will sometimes show off where the heat is in the pan, and he'll knock on it, he'll lift it, and he'll, he'll knock, and he'll... Just to show you that the heat is in the bottom of the pan. Well, no fucking shit! It's in here, in the bottom of the pan. Be 
careful. No, you be careful. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Wow. Wow, there's a real feud happening here. That was the last straw. Uh-oh. That sucks. Love jogging with friends, except you, Gordon. Why are there, like, baby chipmunks... ...contributing to this song? You think- go oh shit, someone in chat just said I did the Gordon Ramsay voice too much and he heard me. He- he- he, mm, he knows I'm making fun of him. It's like when Sponge appeared in the window, he knew I was making fun of him. Let's see now, now he can encroach. Sponge can encroach. Now's his chance. Uh-oh. Sponge did not like that. Fucking nose rock. Yeah, Sponge, I'm not happy either. Italian man overdoses on liquid stimulants, more at 11. I limit my coffee intake to one cup a day, and if not, maybe a little less? But I mean, I will get a medium iced coffee. And that's... Yeah, it's not a large one at least, but yeah. I won't go for more than one cup of coffee a day, because I, I know more than one, and I'll be like a mad cunt bouncing off walls. Did you ever hear that expression? I got that a lot when I was a kid, when I had a lot of energy. My family would say, you know, to like any of the kids in the family, they're bouncing off walls. First quarrel, interrupt. Wait, we're... that's us fighting? Watch it. Hey, no way. Oh, what the fuck? Are we fighting on the enemy? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Wow. That mole got fucked up. That was like a bar fight with collateral damage. Bouncing off walls. Minnesota and Gordon aren't seeing eye to eye. The best thing for them now is to sort out their differences as they room together. Put them together, and they'll surely sort things out. Let's hope they make up soon. It's funny because I was- I was actually like... Is that some... place? buying a sandwich or something the other day and like I heard some dude on the phone screaming at whoever he was screaming at like no you must fuck fuck like loud and then I, I left I was like oh that sucks and then at the supermarket there's another person on the phone just screaming at their spouse loud I was like fuck I'm so happy I don't do that with people like I'm, I'm really I'm grateful that I, I didn't inherit that part of Staten Island culture and just anger. But like, that's, could you imagine, like for me, that just doesn't, ugh. 
Why would you want a friendship like that or... Whatever. It's so stressful. I guess some people just like conflict. Like Gordon Ramsay. And, you know, there are... Seriously, I know it's like... Cliche, angry New Yorkers. It's not always like that. Wow. I don't know what the fuck a jolly jaunt is. What'd you hear, a chirp? Sorry, I don't know what that's about. I didn't hear it on my end at all. Seriously, I didn't hear it. I don't know what that is. I had to see it in the chat. Jolly Jaunt is... it helps build relationships. Okay. So you mean the opposite of screaming at someone on the cell phone and calling them names. Someone said, uh, according to my friends in New York- in other states, it seems like New Yorkers are just loud. We can be. Yeah, we can be. But I wouldn't say that we're- we're- I, I, you know, I think generalizations... You know, there's always exceptions. But yeah, that I would be lying if I said we weren't loud. Hard as a rock, but apparently that's part of the experience. Goblin. Generalization about culture based on location is getting harder to justify in this modern internet-equipped world. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we definitely, like, I say, um, I say fucking hell. You know? I say a lot of things that people would say in England. Just because, I don't know, I like saying them. New Yorkers aren't generally known for saying fucking hell. Fucking hell. Mate. Mental. Yeah, stuff like that. It's like a global culture is, is getting a little bit more, um, is emerging a little bit more. But we, we New Yorkers, we do have a lot. You know, there is this, a bit of a stereotype with New Yorkers, like we do sound like this, some of us. And it's distracting sometimes, you know? Because I forget that it exists, and then I, I meet someone that's like super New York, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, you got it bad. There is bada bing bada booms in this world. They, we exist. Double snurp. Um, so what am I gonna do with these snurps? I, how am I gonna hold all these snurps? <laughs> We're fighting again. I mean, it killed a snurp, but it was worth it. The Nintendo Slurm, coming soon.
when will you start making slurm systems? We're, we're manufacturing... Uh, sorry, we're in the R&D phase of the slurm currently. Unfortunately, we've run into copyright issues because slurm was... Was it in Futurama? It was a drink called slurm. So I think I might need to change the name. Yeah, it was in Futurama. Yeah. I knew I heard that somewhere, but... It came out of a slug's ass. Oh. Just add an H, like Slurm, S-L-U-R-H-M. The Splort. Oh, Splort's not a bad name for a console. The Nintendo Splort. S how about S yeah that yeah Splort 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 Splort? <laughs> I think I broke. Slurm. Oh, that's not bad. Just regular old sandwiches. You know, after finding a golem cake or whatever the fuck that was. And like rock hard rock balls. Finding a regular sandwich is a bit strange. It's probably made of goblin meat. Uh oh. It's fucking roll! I love that, uh, curse words are not censored in this. Like, somewhere along the, the road between this and, and Tamadachi, but, like, t someone on the team was just like, listen. You know, if they're gonna put the word fuck in their game, just let them. No, and yeah, there was censorship in Tamadachi. I had to spell fuking like fucking sucks. F U H C K. Aha! The people's gratitude has awakened a new power within you. Truly, you're a beacon of hope in all of Ethiopia. That's right, you may continue smiting monsters, and you'll get your next perk once you reach 200 people. Hop to it. It won't be seen one. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 not an online thing, so. I want to go to Two-Faced's room. Oh god. I guess they're not really working out their problems, huh? Slow and steady. No, if I- if I muted uh, not muted. If I- if I blurred the top screen, what would happen then? What would you think was going on there? Potential euphemisms? How do you not like a fucking sandwich? It's bacon, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Wait. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Where's the- well, where's the cold cuts? Where, where's the, where's the, where's the turkey or ham or bologna? You know, bologna gets a bad rap as being like the, the, um, discount of the deli meats. And it is. It's not as expensive. It's not very high quality. I, I don't even really know what's in it. Um, when I think bologna, I think about clown meat. Like, do you remember, did you ever see the clown meat? It's Canadian bacon. Oh, okay. Well, that would make more sense if it's Canadian bacon. It's a- well, it's, I mean, it doesn't look like a BLT, that sandwich. Balegda. Like 
I think baloney can be, you know, decent ish. Okay, so here's the difference for me thick cut. Yes, I know everyone's gonna spam the chat with the word thick now, but th uh, thick cut baloney. I feel is a little bit better. It's not as good as clown meat, but it's all right. Look like a right twat. Haven't you heard of a BLT? Of course I've heard of a BLT. I used to get those almost every day. Oh, they don't want to move. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. However, that sandwich that we looked at was most certainly not a BLT. Didn't look like one. But now I, um, haven't you ever heard of a BBW? <laughs> uh, I used to get one every day. With the BLT, I, I got a little sick of it. And now I get one, like, maybe once every cup, once every week. You know, cause like, I'll make dinner, but I can't be arsed to make lunch. Like, I'm not going to construct lunch, because I, I like to go out. I like to go out and get some lunch. Or, uh, sometimes I'll make something. Sometimes if it's- if it's quick. Good job, Two-Faced. Dig deep. Come on, you can keep going. Keep going. Was it worth it? You're gonna eat that? But I'm usually, like, out, like, um, when I'm driving to, like, wherever, the studio. Or to whatever destination earlier on. It's just easier to go grab a quick sandwich or something. Than it is to be home and, you know, and then, then I have to buy food to make for lunch. So I'll, I'll actually spend time cooking dinner now, but I won't, I won't fuck with lunch. Breakfast I'll make sometimes, because breakfast is the shit. Or just, um, uh, like a granola. Just have a quick, quick granola, then I'm good for a couple hours, then I can grab some lunch. Great, now I'm thirsty. Cook anything good lately? Um, I told you I made some, like, squ uh, squash and eggs with potatoes and stuff. That was fun. Uh, today I made just, okay, I have this lime chili, uh, spice from Trader Joe's. It's really good, so I seasoned some chicken cutlets with that, you know, chicken breast, and, uh, salt and pepper. I had that, and then I fried some broccoli, because fried broccoli is the shit, little oil. Little oil? Bring it to the bowl. And, uh, what else did I make? Um, like a, kind of a fancier macaroni and cheese that you make with fucking milk and margarine. So... Something like that. It's like one of those dinner macaroni and cheeses. Yeah, I fried broccoli. You fucking goddamn right I fried broccoli. It's kind of weird, it's good. And you can mix it with, like, carrots and other stuff, too. It, it's not bad. Usually I put it in the oven, but it's surprisingly good fried. Just don't use too much oil, otherwise it... ...get a little shitty. Those things are huge, I can't fit one in my mouth. Oh my god! What's the context of this? R 
reading this and then listening to this music. Fucking Christ. Oh! No. Venice sauce, please. Please! No, not anything but this conversation. <laughs> That's gonna be a clip. God damn it. To my eternal shame. Like, I stopped paying attention for a very short time to talk about fried broccoli. I look back and she's talking about not being able to fit one of those things in her mouth. This is gonna be a good series of streams, isn't it? I, I can already tell that Metopia is going to be a very popular series. Gordon Ramsay is literally. <laughs> I can't say it. But he's shaking. <laughs> he's shaking right now. He's that angry. God damn it. Yeah, now, now we're making some good bucks. Broccoli and soy sauce. Mmm. Thank you for that suggestion. That seems that sounds very um simple. Yet very good. We're just destroying monsters by being angry at each other. You focus. Do you think they know the story of uh, Darth Plagueis? It's not a story the uh, Jedi would tell them. Gordon, oh, they're 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 slightly lessening their hatred, which makes them less powerful. Gordon is dead. How do you usually make your eggs? I... You know, like, scrambled, man. Like, some butter. Uh, a little cheese, if possible. But, yeah, just scrambled is good. Sometimes fried. Put that shit on, like, a English muffin. Some bacon. It's good stuff. Omelets are good, too. But, you know. A lot of ways. A lot of ways you can do it. Monster armor. Yeah, I like that. That is at least better. Now now we're fucking monster hunter. Skin that off a of Rathalos. Have you made your own burger before? Yes, I have. You gotta... I actually just bought some chopped meat, so I'm gonna be, uh, doing burger. You can, you can do a little soy sauce in that. Some chopped garlic, put it in the meat, salt, pepper. Thumbs up. Ooh. 
walk and roll. Anyway, no more food chat. It's too late for food chat. Okay, now Two Faced is straight out of fucking skies of Arcadia. There's a treasure chest. Anyway, we're gonna, um, stop playing this very shortly. We're gonna take a quick BRB, and then Mario 64 DS. Upscaled. And it's got analog control support now, so... It's gonna be good. systematically destroying blobs. I, I like this fight because it's just... It's easy faces. Well, on our way to 200 faces. Am I enjoying this game? Yeah. I, it's simple. There's not a lot to... do in it. Like, I'm just kind of... you know walking around, collecting shit. Battles are simple. But it's funny, and it's good. I like it. Who will help? Gordon will show he's a nice guy. Are you okay? Thanks. That's what you do when you get up from a trip. You dance. Will you play Mario vs. Rabbids on stream? Uh, maybe. Maybe. It looks good. The combat looks good. Um, as long as there aren't too many Rabbids in the game. If I can do a party with Luigi, Mario, and, like, the princess... ...and no Rabbids, zero Rabbids by zero anime, then yeah, maybe. But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for it to come out a little bit. Uh, oh. It looks decent. I mean, I, that was the thing I was shocked about most at E3. It didn't look completely terrible. <laughs> this outfit. You can avoid rabbits. So you mean I can just kill rabbits? So if I can spend the entirety of the game killing rabbits, that's a more appealing prospect. It just depends on if the game is good or not. So I'll wait for it to come out before I make my decision. Paths. I kind of feel like I should have gone down. Maybe I'll do that real quick before I shut the game off. Gordon is forgiven. Vinisauce is forgiven. I kind of liked it better when they hated each other. It was more fun that way. Adventure armor. There's so many fucking types of armors in this game. Uh, polka dot vestments. Hey man, 
You know, if, if this is really what you want, Sponge, then I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking this outfit. Fortune frying pan. God damn, Gordon, why you always want... Didn't I just get you a walk? I guess we didn't get the thing. So, you do... You do end up getting new party members, and then you can switch them out. Like, you get, I think, ten total. That's my understanding of it. Let me try this again. Looks like I didn't open the chest. But, yeah, it looks like, um... For a little while, we're gonna be stuck with these four, but then eventually... I'll start unlocking new party members, and uh, then we can have more Tamadachi people, maybe some new people that were never in Tamadachi as well. Nine in total. Make Bowie a pop star. Oh man, you know... I considered that, that's perfect, considering Bowie was in Tamadachi, but I don't know, it still feels a little weird having David Bowie in my game. Maybe it was a little less weird when he was alive, but I, should I feel that way or no? I mean, what do you guys think? It's just a little bit weird. soon. Well, maybe we'll do a poll and it'll help me make a decision. It won't be the decision, but it'll help me make one. Bowie left. That's right. Bowie went to the stars. In Tamadachi. Uh-oh. What? My character's fucking volatile. What? What's, what the, what's happening here? Kiss and make up. That's right, he went to the stars. Because <clears throat> that's where he came from. From the stars. Did Rich Evans also go to the stars? No, Rich Rich Evans became the living embodiment of a Tums. Rich Evans can now be harvested. Like you can you can eat Rich Evans' skin and it will serve the same purpose as a Tums. What did they say? They could use him to- to combat the acid from- from the alien? The xenomorph? That's oh, the best thing ever. Two-Faced already wants another outfit. Wooly gear? Oh, that's actually like Yoshi's Woolly World, huh? It's kind of cool. Gordon still wants that fucking expensive frying pan. How about no one gets anything for a little bit? And you all... Shush.
second Hotel Mario in this game. If someone made a good Hotel Mario me, I would consider it, but it's gotta be specifically Hotel Mario. It's a good thing I didn't buy that armor, because I just got that armor. Romantic Cruise, Two-Faced and Sponge. Venisauce will remember this. Is there a way to sell this ticket? Like, straight up? Doesn't look like I can. I think you need... Uh, characters not to be in the same room as each other. And then it'll sell it. So maybe it's a good idea to, um... Separate. Before you, you do the roulette. I'll remember that for next- I'll try to remember that for next time. Gotta keep them separated. Ugh. We're almost ready for Mero. Just... Just hang tight. Just a little bit longer. So it looks like I got the chests. Well, I got all the chests here. But I need to, um... I need to see what's down that other path from my own curiosity. I'm actually kind of not an Offspring fan. I mean, I know plenty of their songs, I just- I never really loved them. Something about Dexter's voice kind of, uh... didn't do it for me. Uh, did you ever have that? Like, you like the band to some extent, but the, the- the voice, like... Here's the thing, I tried to get people into Mars Volta, and so many people just can't do it because of Cedric's voice. Um, but yeah, they have good songs. And I know plenty of them, and some of them are great. Well, catchy. So that's the offspring. I'm sure plenty of people feel that way about my music, and that's fine. I wouldn't expect anything, anything less. That's the point of music. Also, trying to go for, like, the widest possible audience. Lowest common denominator, I think is just very, very bad for your music. Smashing Pumpkins, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. The, um, the Smashing Pumpkins... I love Melancholy and Infinite Sadness, great album. I love Siamese Dream. 
Billy Corgan's voice, I can't listen to the music for too long. Like, he uses it well in his songs, but it's really, really, really tough to listen to for an extended period of time. But, I like the songs. The songwriting is really good. I just don't like the voice. So it's, it's like, fuck. My friend Jackie is that way with Oasis. She fucking hates Liam Gallagher's voice so much. And Mike isn't in Mar into Mars Volta. You know. It's just... Sometimes the singer's voice can really turn you off. And the thing is, I like Oasis. I can- I can deal with Liam Gallagher's singing, but specifically on the first two albums. Anything past that, and I'm- I'm- it's tough. I am fucking John Lennon. That's it for now. <laughs> Alright, well, hey. Metopia was fun. And, uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, up next is Mario 64 DS. So, it should be good. It should be a lot of fun. I've been waiting to stream Mario 64. This is actually kind of a lead-up to Mario Odyssey. I've just been really in the mood for Mario 64 lately. And I figure, why not do the DS version? So, stick around. It's gonna be fun. And more Miitopia sometime, maybe next week? Maybe this weekend? We'll see. Alright, once again, stick around for like, five minutes, and I will return with Mario 64 DS. Thank you, everyone. This is a lot of people here. I guess a lot of people were looking forward to this. Which is cool, I'm, I'm glad that you guys were here, and wanted me to stream this so badly. Um, and, you know, I just needed a couple days. But I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. It was fun. We'll do more. Be right back.